Con todos menos contigo es una comedia romántica que cuenta la historia de Bee y Ben, cuya atracción inicial rápidamente se convierte en odio. Sin embargo, cuando a ambos los invitan a la misma boda en Australia, deben fingir que son la pareja ideal, con consecuencias desastrosas. La película está estelarizada por Sidney Sweeney, más conocida por la serie Euphoria, y Glenn Powell, estrella de Top Gun y nuevo galán de moda en Hollywood, a quien decidimos poner a prueba sobre sus conocimientos del género de la comedia romántica. ¿Están viendo? Sí. Y Mr. Powell, sir, ¿cómo estás? Estoy bien, ¿cómo estás? Great, great, gracias de sunny Costa Rica. <laughs> oh, beautiful. I got a lot of friends there right now. Have you been here? Yeah. I have not been to Costa Rica. I was supposed <clears> to be <throat> at a wedding there this past weekend, uh, but oh man, <laughs> yeah, I know I had to miss it. I had another. It's, it's, it was a lot, but I was really bummed. You have some. I heard Costa there. Rica is incredible. <laughs> yeah, you, ha you have to come here, man. I'm definitely gonna. So, do um, yeah, thank you very much for your time and uh, welcome to my first ever rom com challenge with Glenn Powell. <laughs> oh, okay, let's do it. <laughs> and the first one is. Which one of these legendary rom-com icons would you rather star in a film and why? Star with in a film and why? A. Marilyn Monroe. B. Meg Ryan. Top one, I know. Z. Julia Roberts. D. John Stamos. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you know, John Stamos is obviously he's like one of my best friends on the planet. I. <laughs> Spent New Year's with John. Uh, you know, John and I really live our own rom-com existence as as friends. He's, he's, <laughs> he's, you know, that's more of a reality show than a rom-com. I'd probably put Julia Roberts. <laughs> Julia Roberts is is one of the greatest of all time. Um, I've never met Julia Roberts, but I actually worked with her niece Emma Roberts on Scream Queens, so oh. uh, I've heard wonderful things. So yeah, I'll say C, Julia Roberts. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. And you just un inadvertently spinned uh, a romance uh, reality show with John Samus. Yes, and, Someone's and gonna we have our reality show with John. Yeah. <laughs> Someone's going to pick up on that, man. I can assure you. Now, the whole point of romantic comedies is that something screws up the protagonist's chance to be happy. In your opinion, which of these hold the most potential for making a mess of our hero's journeys? A. Nosy best friends, acquaintances, and or in-laws. B, former lovers. C, the protagonist's own emotional insecurities. <laughs> and D, social networks or technology. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. Uh, man, all, all those all those can cause a lot of chaos. The, the, so, the, the funny part is, is I, I it never ceases to amaze me how much technology can get into the way of love. How, how it takes the simplicity yeah. away uh, from a lot. You know, it's, it's, it's an interesting way in which you have to be You know, and everybody has a different definition of what uh, what you're supposed to do and how you operate in love when it comes to technology. Um, <laughs> the netiquette. Yes, exactly. So I'll, I'll say D. Okay, that's right. Yeah, that happened for me, actually. <laughs> Now, in true rom-com fashion, in the end, the protagonist wins over the heart of their love interest by doing a final Hail Mary of sorts. Which one would you definitely not do, even if your potential sweetheart is able is about to walk away and why? A, the public grand speech, listing the reasons why you would be miserable without them. B, renouncing status, position, wealth, job, or social circle in order to just leave with them. C, letting them go in hope that they'll see how selfless you are and thus making them wanting to stay. <laughs> the reverse psychology. And D, wear a rival team sports jersey. <laughs> those, are all, those are all good. Um, as a committed football <laughs> fan, I can never wear a rival team jersey oh. uh, i think the um chasing after what you want is a good thing i don't know if i would want to do a public speech i'm more of a tell you how i feel in private kind of guy um yeah, the public here. speech things a little is a little uh interesting but um yeah i think chasing after what you want i'm not big on the mind games like i don't think like <laughs> running away from something hoping that it comes back is ever mm -hmm. is ever the move i think I think uh, chasing after what you want. So I don't know what letter that was, but yeah. <laughs> good, good call. <laughs> and last question, which rom-com trope do you think it's easier to overcome and why? A, enemies to lovers. B, mistaken identities. C, from friend zone to love interest. And D, the makeover story. Ooh, I, I uh, <laughs> friend zone to love interest. I kind of like that one. I think that's, I think, uh, <laughs> 
that that's always the fun. We we obviously get to play uh, enemies to lovers in this movie, and I think it's yeah. You know, yeah. I think there's something really fun about our movie in terms of two people that have this amazing connection, you know, and because of this sort of miscommunication that they turn into enemies. But uh, that spark is always there, and I always find that you know in romantic comedies like the the difference of hate and love is is very fun. You know, it's a very fun sparring. <laughs> you need that conflict to really make. Uh, you know, sparks fly. So I think, uh, I think, I think there's a lot of chemistry in that movie because of that. Yeah, actually, I do. The banter is terrific in the movie. Oh, thank you. And I'm being told um, this is my last one. Uh, well, this is the straight up question. Rom coms have the potential to be evergreen films. So uh, anything but anyone but you, how would you like the film to be remembered 34 years in the future? I, I, I totally agree. I think the best part about this genre, and especially when it's done well, and the way like people have received anyone but you. You know, people love this movie and it leaves people really happy and it leaves people dancing out of the theaters. I think that's been a really fun thing for me is if you can if you can be a part of a movie that brings people that level of joy, um, that's why you do it. You know what I mean? Like there, there's a lot of movies that people don't want to rewatch because they don't fill them up with that sense of happiness. So if you can if you can be a part of something like that, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping anyone but you makes people happy for decades and decades to come. That would be that would make me very happy. <laughs> Thank you very much for your time. It's been great talking uh, to nice you. Nice talking to you. <laughs> Thanks a lot. You have to come to Costa Rica. Uh, I'm coming. <laughs>